Welcome back. Thanks a lot for staying with us. We're getting some breaking developments now coming in. And this is quite unfortunate news that is just coming in. Eight Navy veterans, in fact, have been handed over the death penalty in Qatar. We're also now getting a reaction coming in from the MEA, the Ministry of External Affairs, who in fact have gone on to say they're extremely shocked with this verdict that has come in. They've also gone on to say that they, in fact, are in touch with the family of these eight Navy veterans. The allegations against them is of spying. The MEA is also now saying that at this point, we are mulling all legal possible options. We will also contest this verdict. We'll try and establish a connection with a colleague to get more backdrop about this case and also the possibilities of how this can be contested going forward. Siddhant is now joining us on the broadcast. Siddhant, give us backdrop of this case since when are these eight Navy veterans in fact being in Qatar, the verdict that has come in and the possible options before the MEA today? Well, there are very few or perhaps very less detail, uh, details available okay. with regard to this particular case in which eight of the veterans uh, of the Indian Navy were detained by uh, by, uh, by by uh, by a unit uh, in Qatar, and perhaps uh, they were put on uh, trial also. Uh, so this has been going on from last one year, and perhaps Indian government has been pursuing case uh, very strongly you know, with the government of Qatar. In fact, uh, the counselor access was also provided to these eight uh, uh, Navy veterans. They were working. On, on a project uh, at Al Dahra company in Qatar, perhaps that project, that uh, particular company also uh, has to do with the uh, with uh, with building uh, uh, submarines and uh, 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 and defense uh, uh, armaments. Now uh, we are getting to know that uh, the court of first instance of Qatar has today passed the judgment in the case involving eight Indian employees of Al Dahra company. The ME, the Ministry of External Affairs, has issued a very strong statement, perhaps expressing uh, shock uh, as uh, the verdict of death uh, penalty uh, and are uh, awaiting the detailed judgment. Uh, we, uh, the ME is still awaiting the uh, detailed judgment, but uh, uh, but has expressed shock. And in fact, ME has also uh, said in a statement that they are in touch with the family and the legal team. Uh, in fact, uh, from day one, ME has... Uh, uh, called uh, this particular case uh, as a high priority uh, case uh, for them uh, when it comes to uh, pursuing it uh, with the other very high priority okay. uh, case and perhaps this particular uh, order uh, 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 has brought disappointment and this is the reason that a statement has been uh, issued by Ministry okay. of External Affairs. Okay, Siddhant, we'll have to leave that conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details.